Before I go into the gospel, I want to answer one of the questions for the kids. When did people start having services? When did they make services? 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago. Oh, you're close. So one thing I want you to understand and remember is what do we do when we have a service? What is that we do in a service? We pray. What is our prayer about? Everybody prays, right? All the people in China, in Japan, in Australia, uh, in, the, in the woods of Africa, in the, in the jungles, everybody prays. Well, how do we pray? What do we say when we pray? What is our liturgy called? Who can remember? Adults, what is our liturgy called? Eucharist, right? Eucharistia. Eucharist comes from the word Eucharistia. What does Eucharistia mean? Thanksgiving. So we need to remember that our service is a service of thanksgiving. When do you think people started thanking God? People started thanking God when God appeared to us. Before God appeared to us, we couldn't see him. We assumed that God may be on top of the mountains or under the ocean or somewhere hiding from us. But then God appeared to us one day. When did he appear to us first time? Who can tell me? Adults, you are part of this too. When did God appear to us first time? Who was the first person who saw God? Abraham, thank you. Abraham was sitting under a big, gigantic oak tree, and all of a sudden, three angels appeared to him. It said that Abraham was looking up, and then he saw three angels coming. So in reality, they were actually coming from the sky, from the heaven. Three angels appearing to Abraham. And what did they say to him? They told Abraham that he is chosen, that he is also going to have a son. How old was Abraham when he saw God? Now 90 something years old. If he did not have children for 90 something years, and then God tell him, you're going to have a child, what do you think would Abraham do? Sarah laughed because she thought that, oh, that was ridiculous. His wife was eavesdropping. She was listening from the tent. And when she heard it, like, oh, that's impossible. And what did, they, what did you think the angels say to Abraham? I said, that's not fair. Why is she laughing? She doesn't believe us? And they said, because she laughed, you're going to name your son Isaac. What does Isaac mean? It means? Laughter. It means laughter because Sarah laughed and the angel said, as a punishment, you're going to name your son Laughter. Would you like your name to be Laughter? <laughs> Somebody called you, hey Laughter, come over here. That's what Isaac's name was. I know someone who's named Laughter. Who, Isaac? Okay. So then... What did Abraham say to his servants or his friends? Go prepare a meal and wash the feet of these angels. They were like human beings. So what does it mean to prepare a meal? It means to thank God and to host, to embrace the strangers. And that was the first thanksgiving that Abraham gave to God. Abraham had spoken with God many times before that. That's why he was in a desert, but he had never seen God. So we can say that in the past, he had also thanked God because God had told him to leave his father's house and go into the wilderness, into the desert by himself. And Abraham had enough trust that he left everything only by hearing God and he went into the desert. And then when he was there alone with his wife and his well, sheep, then God appeared to him visibly. Then Abraham slaughtered a calf and made a feast. And then after that, many, many of his generations, Isaac and Jacob and his 12 sons and everybody was thanking God. And then we come to King David, who was a musician. He was playing on his little harp and then he was creating beautiful songs 
When do we sing those songs? Do who rem who anybody remembers? In the Orthros and in the liturgy, we sing all of those songs. And then we have his son, whose name is Solomon, who created a wisdom of Solomon. He gave us wisdom, which is God. Then many, many others, prophets, but then the most important, Jesus came and he gave us his teachings. And that's how now, after Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension to heaven, we repeat what he told us to do. What did he tell to his disciples to do? What did Abraham do when he saw God? He made a feast, right? What did Jesus do? He also prepared a feast, which came from Moses. We can talk about that later. And he said, this is my body, taking the bread and taking the wine, said, this is my blood. And he said, do this in my memory every time you get together. We come together every Sunday. But do we come together during the week? So which means that when we come on Sunday here, that's a service for the church, for the whole church. And we thank God. Remember, everything started from Thanksgiving. When we gather together at home, even we are doing a book club or we are reading something or we are eating food or we are hiking together, what are we supposed to do always? We're supposed to thank God. So the service started with all the way to Abraham, a thankfulness, and then came all the way to Jesus. And Jesus gave us the perfect example of what we should do. Break bread and thank him.